What's up, y'all? So, Deara Taylor's ex-makeup artist goes live again to tell more of her side of the story. We about to get into this. I'm not going to lie. Deara's not going to say anything, guys. <laughs> we just talking about this shit for nothing. But let's get into it, girl. Let's get into it. <laughs> It's rude to talk. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host. And today, I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? And what the goddamn hell you leave? So, I already read the title. Let's get into it. So y'all can call me Chrissy and let's go ahead and jump right into it. So I was up between the hours of 3 to 7 in the morning and I noticed that, that Diera's ex makeup artist Ariel was on live and she was answering some questions. Now the thing that sucks about airing shit out and exposing celebrities for something, every time you go out live and try to talk about other shit, people are going to ask you about the beef. <laughs> They're going to ask you about the drama and I could tell. I actually went on live just to talk and chill but people were asking her questions so she did end up answering some. Now, she was on live at 4 in the morning so I don't know anybody else got any clips you know but i feel a little bit exclusive <laughs> but i'm gonna go ahead and post the clips that i have right now and then we're gonna talk about it after girl what was you thinking letting your girlfriend go to miami with the air knowing she asked for a her? baby they was already broken up mm -hmm. when we they broke up like four exclusive <laughs> but i'm gonna go ahead and post the clips that i have right now and then we're gonna talk about it after Girl, what was you thinking letting your girlfriend go to Miami with Deer and knowing she asked for a letter? Baby, they was already broken up. Miss mm -hmm. Teddy. I don't wanna say your name wrong, babe. I don't wanna say it wrong. If y'all was already broken up, why the fuck Deer asking you for a hall pass? She rightfully so. Put that pillow behind the headboard with no ties. Let's keep listening. Mm -hmm. when we broke up like four days before that. Four days. Oh. Literally. I'm not sad. I'm not mad. I'm not depressed. I'm not none of that. It's been like eight months. I'm over it, honestly. It's just a simple thing that I got confirmation that it was actually happening. So that's why I spoke out. Y'all keep asking me that. That's why I said something now, and I didn't do it then, because I was big not to say anything. But yeah, so it's like, huh? this is the thing, y'all. I said, there's no way you could just, like, wake up one day and be like, I'm done. After so long. It is a way. After, like, seven years. Or almost seven years, whatever. You want to be precise or whatever you want to be. Like, you don't just wake up one day and be like, oh, it's done. It got to be somebody else. The thing is, she was, Stub Poppy was already checked out, bro. Stub Poppy was already checked out, y'all. She was already checked out. You know that. Miss Tadden know that. She said they was rocking. You already knew she was checked out. I think you just didn't believe her. You know? It gotta be. Because you don't just walk away and never look back from a person you was with for seven years. I just feel like it's just been something going on. And of course, they're going to deny it. or Maybe they come out. Maybe in like two years or some shit. <laughs> it's me and Dior Cordial. I haven't talked to her since. Since y'all was supposed to get y'all nails done together and you didn't. She 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 rescheduled on you and shit. All right. She a scary <laughs> hoe. Those text messages was in like like May first. Okay. Why she felt comfortable asking for her best? Mm, you know that's a good question. I don't know. You know how you just. How you just ask a person for a hall pass once again? I am uh, feeling a little, you know, 
it's not all the way there about this whole deer asking you for a hall pass and not stuff poppy but stuff poppy didn't have to ask you for a hall pass because y'all wasn't together <clears throat> she just broke up with your ass four days before but clearly four days before you wasn't going on a trip anyway which means y'all was on bad terms anyway you did not get the invite You didn't get the invite because you wasn't supposed to be there. Maybe my ex may have feel comfortable enough. How are they going to know? Maybe she thought that I was going to be like, yeah, girl, let's do it. I don't know. I mean, hmm. I told her like it wasn't happening. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. I'm trying to figure out how you from New Orleans. I'm from New Orleans, bitch. I'm from New Orleans. And then say like, hell no, nah, bitch, you're not getting in the bed with my bitch. But the gag is, y'all was broken up anyway, so she wasn't your bitch. This not adding up, sir. This ain't adding up. Yeah, we was together seven years. I ain't never stepped out on her and cheated on her. Nothing just held her motherfucking down. The sister never liked my sister. Yeah, she never liked me. It was forever jealousy. Forever. What? Yeah, we were together some years. But why would she think you would say, yeah, girl, let's do it? <laughs> right. Mm. I ain't never stepped out on her, cheated on her, nothing, just held her motherfucking down. The sister never liked my sister. Yeah, she never liked me. It was forever jealousy. Forever. Big black. She ain't like me. To be honest. All them pictures that Let's she keep it a buck. I wonder why. Keep it real. It's always, yeah, it's definitely three sides to a story, but I guarantee you mine is going to hold a lot of weight. But I finally have respect for that thing. A whole lot of weight. How am I genuinely feeling? Genuinely? See? I feel relieved. I feel great. I feel amazing. Like, I just feel like God just literally opened up another door for me. Like, I don't know. I feel like I was trapped. I was trapped in the closet. I was trapped. And not so much just, like, my ex. Like, just the people around her. The people around us. Made us feel trapped. But now I'm free. What? I was trapped in the closet. I was trapped. And not so much just like my ex. Like just the... Well, don't tell your story if you gone leave important details out face with rolling eyes. Girl, cuz I need some details. <laughs> Let me get the details, okay? Because this just ain't enough. The people around her, the people around us, made us feel trapped. But now I'm free. And I live here. I can't tell you how I found out. It really don't even matter. Just know I know. Why you can't tell us? Who do you owe loyalty to? It's giving they was all a thing and they cut her off. Something. It's giving something. That ain't adding up. Two is not doing two. Two plus is not. Two is not plus two equal in four right now at all. How was you trying? <coughs> You've been with Deara for, uh, bitch. <laughs> You've been with Stuff by Pete for seven years. Deara had just came along in 2020. Mm. Be her at nail bar. And the bitch took off running. <laughs> I found out. It really don't even matter. Just know I know. Be her at nail bar. And the bitch took off running. <laughs> I think, you know what? I so we had a threesome before. We had a threesome, like, in the very beginning of our relationship. Very. 
beginning. Did your ex for a threesome? So, um, see her at nail bar, and the bitch took off running. <laughs> I think, you know what, honestly, we had... I'm ignoring that, because honestly, y'all, she... If I was the era, I would have ran, too. And not run, but I would have left, because I got too much to lose. You ain't about to catch me on World Star fighting you, and I'm worth a million dollars, or a, a million plus, excuse me. Bitch, ain't nobody got time for that. So I would have took my ass right on up out of there, too, because I'm, <clears throat> I'm not about to throw away everything I have for you. I'm not throwing, over, throwing away everything I have for your bitch and i'm not going to jail no okay threesome before we had a threesome like in the very beginning of our relationship you had a threesome in the beginning of the relationship is why step papi thought it was gonna be okay for both of y'all to smash the arrow come on somebody you opened the door for the threesome early which means stuff by B like to uh, uh, explore the fruits of her labor, okay? And you open that door. You played yourself yet again. <laughs> I asked TT in the beginning of the relationship, would you mind if we have a... No. Huh? No. Girl, she said no off the gate. No. Therefore, I had to choose. Do I want TT or do I want the lifestyle? I wanted TT. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You opened the door for some more ass. You gave her the option for extras. You a la carte. What is it? A la carte. Ain't that what it is? You go in the corral on that. Listen. You gave her options, friend. You gave her a buffet, honey. You didn't give her an entree. You gave her a buffet. Options. She didn't need them. That's why she wanted to go ahead and bust down Deara with you. But you said no. So she went on ahead and took the opportunity. <laughs> Very. <laughs> you did. You did played your So, um, the whole threesome thing. We was in the car. Uh huh. And we had just left from going to get some food, me, Jazz, and Deara. Mm -hmm. And, like, they basically was just saying. They? Let's have a threesome. The, excuse so me, just, they? Like, they basically was just. Wait a minute, they? And, like, they basically was just saying. Let's have a threesome. Step Papi is not sounding like she was her bitch. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. What you mean they was asking you for a threesome? You let Diera and Step Papi come to you and ask you. You let your bitch and another woman, not y'all together asking Diera. You let another woman, boy, I would have been went off. Me and De'Ara would have had to, throw, we would have had to throw them hands. I'm not going to lie. Me and De'Ara would have been throwing them things, bitch. <laughs> Listen, <clears throat> De'Ara knew what she wanted from the jump. The gag is she wanted both of y'all. Okay? She was trying to smash both of y'all. Allegedly. End up talking to Stuff Papi. Stuff Papi was with it and thought you was going to be with it. She thought you was going to be with it because you was with it before. And come to find out, you wasn't with it. You wasn't so with it. So we dropped the air off. And I told my girlfriend, like, it's too close to home. We ain't doing no more three something. It's just way too close to home. Why you ain't tell the air no when you was in the car? Why you wait till she get out the car, friend? You just not sounding like New Orleans to me. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Did Ken know about it? I'm, I have no idea. I have no idea about Ken and Deer's relationship, y'all. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know anything. 
No, we were friends. We did a lot together. Me and Dear actually, like, we got our nails done together. We went out to eat together. She, she stayed in my house. I picked her up. We went places. Like, we were friends. I did our makeup for free. And I ain't doing nobody fucking makeup for free. Exactly. Me, dear, I believe it. We all lived in the same building. You shouldn't have did her makeup for free. I just came, like, it's crazy because people on the internet be so far up celebrities. It's weird. Like, they could do no wrong. Like, yeah, they could say anything and they just believe it. It ain't even that. Because the thing is, I believe you. Dear ain't said shit and I believe you. But Dear has already gave us who she is. Friend, it's been like six years. It's almost seven, if not seven. We know who she is. She done lied to us. She done let us on. She done broke up with Ken and didn't tell us. <laughs> Girl, we all over here assuming and, and guessing and guesstimating and everything. Ain't nobody up her ass. We just accepted her for who the fuck she is. <laughs> Do my ex have a job or is Dear taking care of her? I don't talk to my ex. I don't know. Will you take Jazzy back? Who the fuck is Jazzy? Who? Jazz must be her PR. <laughs> they said Jazz was PR. in the background. Yes, Jazz was. Oh, yep. Jazz was uh, answering. I mean, asking the question. So. Why we broke up? Um, I think we just grew apart. Girl. I think. I don't know. I guess. I'm good. Um, or maybe she was. It's just somebody else. I don't know. She didn't want you no more. God damn, tell the truth. That's my issue, because you ain't keeping it on Hanna. You're not keeping it a ban. You calling Dear a fraud, and you are or you are borderline, friend. You're borderline. <clears throat> You're not telling the whole truth or nothing but the truth, so help you Jesus, or whoever you pray to. Okay? You, you... You're not telling the whole truth, man. That's that's my issue with you. Like, if you broke that thing all the way down and, and, and was in full honesty, you know what I'm saying? I would get that. But you're not keeping it a band, bro. That's why we over here questioning you. The thing is, we know who Deara is. And don't nobody has to suck her. She's already given us who she was. We accepted her because she doesn't get. Listen, <laughs> Dara will blatantly lie, laugh, say it's the truth, and go to the next clip. You don't understand who we dealing with here. I'm telling the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help you God. Next, she's already done it. <laughs> okay. You not, you just not giving us accountability on what you did. That's the part I, I can't. I really can't even tell you. It was, just, it was so suddenly. Jazz don't have IG. I don't believe that. She hate IG. Yeah, she probably got a fake page for the show. I don't got no beef for dear. This facts true. So I can't remember fully right Not now, but true. I think you wanted to be her up yesterday video She stated that they might have broken up around March So if she did say March in the other video She's clarifying that they actually officially broke up her and Jazz in May Which was a few days before De'Ara went to the Miami trip with Kayla, her trainer, and Jazz as well So the clips that we've seen with De'Ara and Jazz in Miami Jazz was single at that point And I also thought it was interesting that Ariel actually says that Kayla didn't like her I'm wondering if she started disliking her after they broke up or if she she disliked her for like the seven year during girl she act like she was in jail we was locked up they didn't let us out <laughs> whatever term she used me and jazz was good but the people around us wasn't good
condition of their relationship. But she didn't really say why, except to her and her sister that popped in in the video were talking about some type of jealousy. I mean, child, we really don't know what it is because people always claim that people are haters and jealous and like <laughs> niggas are not. Now, people mm -hmm. were wondering on, what she said in response to Deara asking for a hall pass, and she said that she declined Deara's offer. And interestingly enough, it wasn't just Deara that asked for a threesome, but it was actually Deara and Jazz. And I feel like right then and there, that would have been a red flag for me. Because why are both of y'all coming to me asking for a threesome? It would have been different if it was just the air. I would have snapped. Niggas would have came to YouTube like, yo, neat crazy. You know the normal shit that people do when they expose me. Neat crazy. Neat done lost her mind. She need help. She need Jesus. No, bitch. You not about to try me. I'm the one. Okay. I would have been like, what the fuck was y'all talking about before I got to y'all? How is it that you and my bitch coming to ask me for a threesome? That's supposed to be the other way around. It's supposed to be me and my bitch asking you for a threesome. I would have snapped and then they would have came to YouTube talking about I was crazy <clears throat> and I need counseling and shit. You know how bitches do with me when they expose me and shit. Still weird, but like it would have been different. Even if it was You're not going to play with me. None of you hoes. Okay. I don't, I don't care who nobody is. You're not going to play with me. Go expose and tell them whatever. I need Dr. Phil and all of them. Sign me up. But understand, I'm going to tell him too. You're not going to play with me. Girl, bye. It was just jazz, which would this make more it. sense. But like both of them, if it was really both of them, that is definitely weird vibes. But she said that after they dropped Deara off home, which means that they must have all talked about it at some point, she did tell Jazz no because it was too close for home. And y'all, three some. <coughs> she said she didn't tell Jazz until Deara got out the car. So what did you tell Deara? I told her when Jazz when when Deara got off the car, I told her that was too close to home. She's repeated that like three or four times, which lets me know you didn't tell Deara no. Y'all, uh, y'all wanna have a um baby, you wanna have a threesome with me and Deara? What? <laughs> I said, do you wanna have a threesome with me and Deara? Excuse me, Jazz, why the fuck are you asking with her and not with me? And that's in the event if I wanted to do it. But it sounds like she didn't want to do it, but it really don't sound like it because she ain't saying that she didn't want to do it. She has not yet said that she did not want to do it. Aside from saying, though, when Deara got out the car, she said that's too close to home. Why didn't you tell Deara that? So I feel like Deara is thinking that it's a green flag. Probably because you done gave her the go. But decided to wait till she got out the car and let Jazz tell her. But Jazz ain't going to tell her no. Because Jazz wanted it. Girl. That was the whole other conversation. But this is why I would be scared. Because you, you really just got to make sure you're really secure in the relationship. And... Whatever you're doing with the other person is strictly physical. Because imagine if she did go with the threesome, like that is any girl's worst nightmare for your partner to leave with the person that y'all fuck together. Chrissy, she already had a threesome. That's the thing. She told us that she had a threesome in the beginning of the relationship. It's just some shit you just don't do. Especially in the beginning. <clears throat> if we 10 years in and it's like, all right, all right now. Baby, can we have a threesome with somebody else? I want to have some fun. That is a total different conversation. But we had a threesome in the beginning. Are you crazy? You already let her know that she can invite somebody else into y'all bedroom. We been over here trying to figure out why the hell did, did stuff Poppy think it was okay to invite Deara, why Deara thought it was okay to invite herself, bitch. And it's because you <coughs> over here accepting invites and RSVPs.
and trying to play victim. No. Hell no. Somebody asked in the comments <laughs> when was the last time she saw Diera, and she alleges that it was at a nail bar and apparently Diera ran away. I don't know how true that is, but I'm sure it would be awkward as fuck to see the girl whose partner you basically stole from her. Like, this is so messy. Then, as some of us were already talking about it in my last video, I believe, but she confirms that it was Jazz asking her questions in the Truth or Drink video. Is it true you talking to someone new? I mean, we knew that, Chrissy. <laughs> <laughs> Is it true that you would date a girl? Or you could drink. It's up to you. It don't matter. This makes so much more sense, y'all. This makes so much more sense. And it makes it more messy. Now, of course, it's a legend, but I really did feel like that was her. Especially at the part where she asked her, do you like girls? You don't have to answer this. Like, it obviously, Dara might have at least at one point not felt comfortable you know, disclosing that information of how she feels towards women. Ariel has said before that she's speaking out on it now because she was blinded. And she further explains in this video that she's speaking out because she recently got the confirmation from an outside source that Deer and Jazz are allegedly together. Now, I actually found this stuff. Everything makes sense now. Can't trust the same soul. I just saw her Facebook back in August, which is the same month that Deer and Ken came out with their breakup video. And she said, everything makes sense now. Can't trust a single soul. And someone in the <coughs> comment actually said Diera was wrong. And she said that 16 weeks ago. So it seems like Ariel might have found this out. Girl, the blind, Stevie Wonder. Yeah, me. <coughs> Stevie Wonder could see. I don't want to make this video this fucking long. So I'm going to go ahead and end this. Stevie Wonder could see. Do you hear me? Stevie Wonder could see <coughs> that Diera was messing with Stud Poppy. The fact that you didn't see it is, is just crazy to me. And, and what makes it even more crazy is you the one who had more concrete evidence than us. I mean, from the pictures to laying on her lap, to, I mean, she ain't never had anybody in her, in her, in her camera, you know, it, like on her Instagram, you know what I'm saying? That's not what she do aside from Ken. You know what I'm saying? She was all over stuff, Poppy. I, I genuinely. The league saw it immediately. Period. I genuinely know that Stub Poppy was not happy with her. And I think that it was coming to the end of the row. Stub Poppy was already checked out and she was ready to go. Uh, she was ready to go. Okay. And I think she knows that. And the fact that she's trying to act like it was just, she just, you know, threw it away. <laughs> She did not, y'all was not on good terms. I could be wrong. This is alleged. I'm not saying you know what was going on in your household. I can't tell you what was going on in your household, but it just, the math ain't math, you know? But, um, hmm. y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below, man. Um, this is some wild shit. No cap. <clears throat> y'all let me know what y'all think i'm done with this video love y'all appreciate y'all what the goddamn hell yeah hell yeah